Hello and welcome to the Car Jump Arena Tractor Trailer Invitational. I'm your host, David N. Art. Today we're going to use the T75 Uplift uh, Tractor Trailer Truck to haul each of the types of different trailers down the car jump arena and see what happens who can go the farthest we're going to kick things off with the auto transporter heading down the ramp this is going to work just like the car jump arena championships when we get to the end of the jump here we'll let go of the gas let this bad boy fly and then we'll uh, grab on to that we'll pause the physics and then i gotta get my <laughs> This was going so well. I got to get my camera adjusted here. There we go. All right. So uh, we'll pause the physics, slow things down, and then we will let the uh, front of the truck uh, start to land. We're going to go by where the tires are. So where the tires hit, that's where it counts. And this one is a 251 meter, just past 250. We'll give it the 251. Why not to kick things off here with the auto? Whoa, transport. Okay. <laughs> that's... <laughs> Um, well, the uh, trailer decided it had had enough, I guess. I don't know. All right, up next we have the empty van trailer here in the car jump arena. So uh, we're going to see if this trailer, which probably, I'm, I'm guessing, weighs a little less than the transporter because the transporter has the uh, ramp that comes out of it. This is just a big, giant, empty box. Let's see how far this bad boy flies going down. Stop the physics here. Slow things down. Back out a little bit. And... Touching down, look at there, the wheels skirt right there on the 250 meter mark. So we're going to count that as a 250 meter run by the uh, empty van trailer. Whoa, okay, up and over the wall. <laughs> We've got destruction and fire, you name it, right here. Up next, we've got the Tasty Cola truck. Now, this is one of two Tasty Cola trucks. This one is hauling 12,900 kilograms of Tasty Cola down the car jump arena to go flying through the air and see just how far, uh, well, how far does Cola fly? I don't know. And, and does shaking up the cola this way take out all the fizz? I'm going to guess probably so. We're, we're probably not going to want to be drinking this stuff after this particular adventure. But anyhow, let's see where, let's see where this ends up here. Uh, so if we slow things down, it crosses over. And whoa, okay, that's almost to 270. We're going to call that a 267. It's, I'd say it's pretty close to halfway between the 265 and the 270. 267 meters. That's a lot of cola. Oof. Holy smokes. And a giant mess to go with it. All right, up next, we have the second contender for the Tasty Cola entry, and this is the Tasty Cola 25,800 kilogram truck. So this one basically weighs twice as much as the one we just saw. So the question is, woo, look at the sparks of flying <laughs> from the, uh, from the uh, foot stands, whatever you call them. Anyway, <laughs> let's, let's see. So will the extra weight help this truck or is it going to hold it back or will it make any difference whatsoever? Oh, let's see. Okay. Well, we're definitely over the 250 and oh, over the 260. Oh, and there we have touchdown pretty much right at the halfway point. We're going to call that a 265 meter run here for the tasty cola 25,800 kilograms of cola, not quite enough to best its sibling. Wait, did you, did you just see that? Okay. What the heck? Look, look in the very back where the arrow's pointing. Look at this. Look at this. The tire bounces up and smacks the, that overpass thing. Oh my gosh. That is crazy. Wow. Well, dinner and a show. All right, up next, we have the empty flatbed. Oh, it also scrapes along the bottom. Ouch. There's a lot of flex in that flatbed. Let's see how far the flatbed trailer can 
fly off of the car jump arena. Will the fact that it is an empty flatbed give it some aerodynamics and help it fly farther? Um, I'm going to guess no, because, man, that is, like, way short. That's not even... Holy smokes, that's like 245, 246. We'll call it 246. Didn't even make the 250 mark. That is not good. But it is holding on to the, the uh, bed of the trailer is holding on to the truck. Or, well, was for the most part. Probably get bonus points for that, but it won't. All right, here we go. Here's a flatbed loaded down with 12,600 kilograms worth of wood planks. So let's see if the added weight nicely distributed along the flatbed will help propel this vehicle further or will all that extra weight just, well, weigh it down and get us crashed into a short run. Oh, well, we're definitely past the 250 mark. And we're over the 260 mark, uh, 266. Let's call that a 266 meter here in the car jump arena. Just past the 255, not quite to two, uh, I'm sorry, 265, not quite to 267. So there you go. We'll call it a 266 for the 12,600 kilograms worth of wood planks. Oh, and the trailer's just pushing the truck. <laughs> Into the pool. <laughs> here, you go into the pool. I'm going to head off to the side over here. Oh, my gosh. Okay, up next, we've got the final flatbed in the series, and this one is loaded down with 16,800 kilograms worth of wood planks. And I'm going to guess, based on what we've seen so far, that more weight is not going to help with the distance whatsoever but we'll fling this bad boy off the edge let's find out what happens pause things slow them down and we roll into a ooh, that's about a 262 so we'll call that a 262 here in the car jump arena. Oh, the trailer hangs on. Look at that. It is not letting go. Just absolutely dominating the front of the truck. Oh, my gosh, man. That trailer is like, no, you're coming with me. I'm the boss here. Forget about it. Oh, no, I forgot. We actually have another flatbed in the competition. This one has 20,000 kilograms of metal pipes. <laughs> I don't know. At some point, does it really make a difference at all? I, I don't know. It sure doesn't really seem to. But, you know, I don't know. Who knows? Maybe, maybe the pipes. I'm thinking if the pipes, well, no, I was going to say, if the pipes were loose, maybe they could shove into the front of the truck. But, actually, they'd all fly off the back and... Well, then we have an empty flatbed. So, all right, let's see where this truck lands. Oh, look at there, just short of the 265 mark. So we'll call that 264 meters here in the car jump arena invitational. And let's just let this bad boy come at us. Oh, the trailer breaks loose. There's fire everywhere. The Oh, well, the truck's not going to end up in the pool. Oh, well, I was going to say the pipes end up in the pool, but no, they jump out of the water. Okay, now we have the tanker series of trailers, and this is 11,000 liters of water. So I have no idea. Uh, the way BeamNG is set up, uh, it says there's water in there. There's actually nothing in there. Um, but there are various types of tankers, as we will see. So I wonder if the different liquid type has anything to do with how far it goes or handling or anything. I don't know. Let's see where this one ends up. A little past the halfway mark. 260, 250, I'm sorry, 256. Yeah, we'll say 256. The white marker there is the was the 250 mark, so... Uh, I didn't really explain how any of that works, but <laughs> uh, go back and watch the uh, other Car Jump Arena Championship for all the explanations. This is an invitational, like an exhibition, you know what I'm saying? All right, anyway. All right, so now we've got the next tanker, and this one is 11,000 liters of milk. So does 11,000 liters of milk weigh more than 1,000 liters of water? 
I think it actually does. I think milk is heavier than water. I don't know why I think that. I don't know. Learned that somewhere maybe or made it up in my head. I don't know. The question is, will it make a hell, a hill of a bean of difference here in the car jump arena? I'll spit it out eventually. Let's see where we go when we slow things down. And this is going to land. Well, this one is actually, yeah, about 250. Six? Yeah, another 256. So pretty much uh, where the water landed. Oh, 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 oh. And the tanker is, oh, man, forcing the truck into the water. And uh, it does not let go. I, I really should do bonus points for that, really. Okay, here is the next tanker. And this tanker is 11,000 liters of petroleum. That's gas, saline, or gas to, you know, those of us on this side of the pond. But anyhow, that's got 11,000 liters of petroleum. So I'm curious, since it's full of gasoline, when it lands, will this tanker explode? Does that mean that it's also explosive? Because that would be awesome. I don't know if it is or not. We'll find out. Let's see where it lands. Well, pretty much about the same place, about 256. So it looks like no matter what is in the tanker, they're all landing at about the same place. Oh, crunching down. Oh, man, we are just hauling straight ahead. Let's do it full speed into the pool. Oh, blam. Oh, up and over. Well, oh, well, the front end catches on fire, but no, no explosion from the gasoline tanker. So bummer, man. All right, here we have the final competitor of the day, 11,000 liters of diesel fuel. And I'm not, did I spell that right? I don't know. It doesn't matter. <laughs> so there it is. Uh, 11,000 liters of diesel fuel. Anybody want to place your bets as to where you think this is going to land? I'm going to guess probably about 256 because that's where they all seem to land. Let's find out. Are we close? Is it 256? It is pretty close. Sure, we'll call it 256. Why not? They all seem to be there. There it is coming at you. We're just going to let this one fly at us as it comes down the landing zone. Again, still attached to the truck. That is, whoa, that's a giant explosion. Of course, I, I think that came from the actual uh, fuel tank of the truck. Well, there you have it, the winner of the Invitational, the Tasty Cola 12,900-kilogram trailer. Who would have thunk that that particular combination of weight and whatever else pushes it just far enough ahead, 267 meters, to take the championship here, to take the, the, to take the gold medal for the Trailer Invitational. There you go. <laughs> Got any questions, problems, suggestions, horror stories? Feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. And thank you guys. Oh, so much for watching. <laughs> we'll see you next time on Beam NG Drive. Uh, oh, we got fire. We got explosions. We got bad things happening here in Beam NG Drive.